can also put motors on. at the MIT Media Lab and I run a research group called High Low Tech and we're interested in blending uh, high tech stuff and low tech stuff um, so usually that translates to blending craft and technology so for example we've done a lot of work uh, blending textile craft and technology um, and we're also doing a lot of stuff more recently in blending paper crafts and technologies so for example figuring out how to embed electronics into paper crafts or into textile crafts. So one of the uh, projects that I've been working on for quite a long time is the lily pad Arduino project that tries to make uh, textile and technology blending uh, more accessible to a broad audience. Um, and we're working right now on some toolkits that would make a blending of paper crafts and, and electronics more accessible to broad mm -hmm. audiences. The wall is painted with layers of, the colorful paint is um, just a regular acrylic paint. And the, these traces here that are kind of silverish, copperish, this is uh, water-based conductive paint from Les CMF. It's non-toxic and it, it works really nicely. So you can basically paint the traces of a conductive circuit. Some of the traces are, are uh, covered up now with, uh, with the paint. Underneath the flowers, we have a big surface of con big conductive area so that the flowers work as a capacitive sensor. You don't even have to touch them fully, you just need to get big enough, with, uh, uh, close, sorry, not big enough, close enough with the body. And so you can turn on and off the different modules. Each flower uh, is connected to a, this is an Arduino board that is designed with magnet connections and um, also designed, so this is the Arduino board with uh, analog input, digital input and an output. And um, this is a piggyback board, which is actually, if you look underneath here, this is an XB. And so each board can wirelessly communicate to a computer, so in that sense they're networked. They're not directly connected with each other on the wall. But these lights are also mag magnet. So it's a little light module, uh, LED module, and with a power and ground. The ground on all the, the modules is the pointy part, which is just like convenient for knowing always which side is ground. And then this is a laser cut plexiglass structure and then just a paper flower on top and you can put these on these track and they can go anywhere along the track. Hmm. And you can not just you can also put motors on. And they will turn so kind of decorative. Oh man. Hi, I'm Emily Lovell, and I'm going to show a jumpsuit that uh, you can play a game with. So, so what's happening is it's, it's kind of like Simon. So the screen's telling me whether I'm using my right hand, which is, which is coded red, or my left hand, which is coded blue, um, to touch the various conductive pads of conductive fabric that are on the jumpsuit um, in, in specific patterns. So if I get the patterns right, then, I, then my score is going to go up. And if I get enough patterns right, then I'll win. But that hasn't happened yet. The idea is that you can use um, sort of any material you'd like, so um, maybe something that you have some kind of sentimental attachment to, but you don't want to throw it away, but you don't really have a use for it, and so, you know, the idea is to kind of get those things out of your closet and turn them into a useful object. Mm -hmm. So in this case, like, this is like a souvenir from like a trip I took to India. Um, and uh, yeah, when you put it together, it's just a radio, so I can plug it in. Turn the volume up. Can you see any different stations? You can see two different stations. It can be a little tricky to find one. Nice. Can you show me the other one? The map one? Yeah, so this, this was just a, a preliminary prototype with a different material. 
So here I've just used like an old railroad map I had. My name is Bonifaz Kaufmann. I'm coming from Austria. I made a, a knitted sleeve which has conductive yarn in it. And this is a nice sensor developed by Hanna, which measures basically how much you stretch the, the material. And then I connected a lily pad Arduino to it and a Bluetooth module on it and sends how often I bend my arm and I send this information to, to an Android phone which counts basically how often I do a certain exercise. And the infrastructure is based on Amarino, that's the toolkit, which I made, I created. And it's working pretty good. <laughs> common theme that runs through the work in our group is just a, a fascination and kind of an infatuation with different kinds of materials and especially materials across um, just any materials really we can get our hands on. So the fibers that I'm most excited about are metal fibers so we got uh, copper fibers and aluminum fibers that can actually be spun just like traditional wool or cotton fibers into yarns and used in tr all sorts of traditional textile crafts like needle felting and, and, and wet felting and so we're really excited to see how those fibers enable us to, to blend electronics and other kind of engineered gadgets into textiles. We also do a lot with um, recently conductive paint and magnetic paint, um, magnets and different kinds of papers, lots of conductive fabrics and traditional fabrics. Um, I love felt, felt is wonderful, so lots of just about anything we can get our hands on.